while since I picked up the camera. Whoa. Um, it's been a while since I picked up the camera to start a vlog, but oh my God, look at this. So I washed my hair yesterday and I basically just tied it up straight away and this is what I'm left with. Okay guys, I'm a little bit more manageable. So I'm a little bit more manageable. I mean, my hair is a little bit more manageable. So I thought I would sit down and just talk to you about today because obviously I'm in a new place. As you can see, I'm currently at my parents for a couple of days. And basically Paco, my hairdresser, who has been my hairdresser for three plus years, he kindly does my hair gifted as part of like a mutual collaboration. So between me, him and the salon, basically I always video my hair or talk about what I'm getting done. And then obviously hopefully it brings people into the salon to get their hair done. And over the years, so many of you have gone to Paco to get your hair done, which is so lovely because he always tells me when people have come in and said, oh, I know Jess or, oh yeah, I follow Jess. I want my hair like hers or you show a picture or whatever. And it's really, really sweet because it makes him happy because he's like, okay, so what I'm doing to her must be really good. But also makes me happy because obviously then he's getting loads of business and it's really great because he's honestly for one, like the most amazing guy ever. And for two, I always call him my little magician because the amount of things he has had to do to my hair. But the reason I'm going in today from here is because I am actually not booked in till October, which is a really long time away. And Paco said, if he has a cancellation, he'll literally just give me a drop of a hat decision to come in. So at 11 o'clock last night, he texted me and was like, Jess, three o'clock tomorrow, be at the salon. I'm gonna sort your hair out. Yeah, it takes me about an hour and a half to get down and I can park there, which is good. So I'm gonna do that. I've waffled for about six minutes. I'm definitely gonna have to cut this down. And so I'm gonna start watching Real Housewives and finish off the rest of straightening. Really quickly though, I'm gonna mention, so I'm using the new GHDs. These are the Platinum Plus in the red. Honestly, game changing again. So I've had for years the kind of black, shaped ones i don't know what ones they were but i've had i want to say they were like the third edition that were ever released and i've had them since i was about i want to say the 17 or 18 so nearly 10 years in fact actually 10 years and they are still fine they still work but ghd kindly gifted me these so i've passed the other ones on to someone else because they still work absolutely fine there's been no problems with them they've never broken they've never stopped working like they are perfect but these let me tell you, these are game changing. I could never curl my hair with straighteners and I think I just needed better straighteners because these are just, I love them. I love them so much. I'm gonna time lapse so I can finish. <laughs> Hey guys, it's been a little while. I've finished my hair and I've done my makeup, which I actually filmed for my Instagram story. So I'll leave a little swipe up um, to my Instagram down below and you guys can check it out. I'll make sure it's on a highlight called like everyday makeup or something, but I'm on the way to the salon. So big change of events. He asked if I could come in any earlier and I obviously was like, yeah, cool. Earlier makes sense, like an hour earlier. He then said come in at 12 and it was already 10 and it takes an hour and a half from where my parents live to get back to where the salon is. So basically just threw myself in the car and I'm on the way and I've asked if we can do half 12 because I'm not gonna be there till like 10.25. Um, so now I'm in the car on the way. Okay, so I'm not someone who trusts hairdressers at all, but I really trust Paco and I know that he would never do anything to my hair that I wouldn't like. Um, but as long as it's kind of blonde or balayaged or whatever, then I'm pretty easy going with it. And if I say I want more brown, he'll put more brown. If I say I want it highlights, he'll do highlights, like that kind of thing. Um, so we work quite well together. But I think what we might be doing is toning down the warmth of my hair because it's very warm at the moment. Obviously, the toner's completely worn off now. So I think we're just gonna make it like a little bit more ashy. Um, maybe not too ashy. I used to have it very like cool and gray and it just didn't suit me as much. So I think I'm gonna keep it warmer, but like, a muted warmer so that when I edit my pictures I don't have to like turn all the yellow down <laughs> but um yeah I think it's gonna look really good and I want to definitely get some of the front like chopped a little bit as well and just make it a little bit more kind of healthy because the ends do need a tiny little trim like here for example it needs maybe like that little bit just snipped off because it's a little bit dead and dry but I'm gonna leave it all to him as always he'll do his thing and I'll try and vlog as much as I can but 
I don't know where my spare batteries are and I've literally just thrown myself into the car. So I don't really know what I've got and I don't really know like what the situation is. Like I've got a white jumper with me that's got a stain on the front of it and I didn't realise until I put it in the car. So now I've had to pack another jumper in as well because otherwise I've got like all these jars. I don't know. I'm so excited. I'm going to put on some Disney music and just enjoy going to the salon. It's been such a long time. I miss having like a coffee in the salon and a Lotus Biscoff and I miss having little chats and having some peppermint tea and having a little gossip about the news or something like that. I just So we thought we'd just have a chat, but I basically I'm getting a balayage and then we're doing like baby lights around the front and some highlights. So all of this is balayage and then this bit gets highlighted and then we're doing like some bits around the front. I don't really know, but he knows what he's doing, so I trust him. He said it's what I've had before and it's going to be a lot blonder, so I'm excited because a lot blonder right now is going to be... I mean, look how much, like this blonde doesn't even poke out of the... It, like, this is all brown. <laughs> So I'm very excited, but my head is so heavy, I don't know if you can see that how much foil there is right now. There's a lot of foil. This is what this salon currently looks like. So as you can see, Paco is wearing like full um, face shields and stuff. And then they've got all these little like dividers. So there's no one on this chair because I'm in this chair. And then there's like dividers here. And as you can see like where they are over there, there's more dividers and stuff. But it's very good social distancing. And also you're not allowed to eat or drink. I mean, you, so you can't eat in the salon because obviously um, you just can't and they can't serve drinks. So you have to bring your own drinks. So me and Paco ordered a Starbucks. His is up there somewhere. Um, and I got a bottle of water just because obviously I'm in here for a while. So I want to keep myself hydrated and normally I would get some water, but I'm here for 52 minutes, apparently. 52. So I'm going to try and get some emails and stuff done while he is off doing his thing and try and get some work done. I did actually bring my switch so I could play Animal Crossing, but I don't know if I'm gonna do Animal Crossing or emails. I think emails is a little bit more important. <laughs> Keep it straight. Hang on, let keep me... An, keep it in the straight. And look at the... Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh, okay. So this is like the... So it's all sectioned off, which is good. I feel like I'm in a little pod. <laughs> I have so much hair. Look how much foil there still is. You can't even see the hair that's being washed, but there is some being washed. <laughs> <laughs> This has taken us, what, two hours to put all the foils on? <laughs> and what, what, two hours and a half? Two and a half. It took two and a half to get all of these on my head. Hmm. <laughs> but you can see on Paco's head, he's got one of the little face shields. So that's like part of their, yeah. <laughs> part of their social distancing which is good and then obviously these and you can wear a face mask if you want to but you don't have to um i have chosen not to just because i think with all these fours and stuff it just be really hot um but you can if you want and you can also buy them here which is good so they're about a pound i think so if you do forget one but you want to wear one then you can do that too and there's also hand sanitizer and stuff and everyone's kept very far apart like i'm normally in here and there's at least like i'd say probably like 10 other people having their hair done and there's only two um, and it's very very like minimal people which is obviously what you want and everyone's so far apart like there's someone else in the sink over here and there's one other person getting their hair done over there but very very far apart okay so all of this was just on the side on the back of my head I still have so many <laughs> 
Oh my goodness. Just to show you how many are still left on my head. So that's just from like this bit. We've still got like... And the back. <laughs> There's literally so many. <laughs> oh my gosh. I like this little one piece that I've got going on though. I've also got a bit of a scar. But it, to be fair, it always takes me ages. I'm always in here for like hours. So I'm actually just doing my makeup stories that I said about earlier and just putting my entire like morning routine of my face on my stories. I'm gonna put it in a highlight, like I said, so you'll find it. But... And the blonde is back. <laughs> I'm so excited. It's like so blonde, but we haven't toned it yet. So we need to get a creamy toner, which is gonna be like a vanilla -y blonde. Okay, we're moving to the iPhone because the camera's just died and I don't know if I've got a battery. Found a battery in my literally excessively small but full handbag but the toner is now on so we're just going to give it a dry and curl and then all good to go five hours later <laughs> from the salon what do we think i absolutely love it um i have to admit i do like curl it slightly differently so i normally curl from quite high up but oh, i love it it just looks so like oh my god i love it so basically the roots are still darker um i don't know if you can really see so like you can kind of see like that but basically it's balayaged all over so like no matter where you section it, it's still darker at the top and it's gonna fade really nicely but I kind of love it I do find when I'm this blonde though I need a bit more of a tan because I'm very pale at the moment like having my natural roots makes me look more tanned but blonde makes me look paler so I think tomorrow I'm gonna pop on the tan but I love it I love it I love it and also um the one thing we said is that it's definitely got its thickness back um from having the extensions and stuff so I'm gonna have it back down to here in no time. You have to give this a like if you followed me since my hair was down here because it literally used to be here. <laughs> Love it. Um, so thank you very much to Paco. I will leave all of the details for Paco and Live True down in the description box along with all of the other random bits and pieces like my clothes I've been wearing and stuff. But I hope you enjoyed this video guys. It is the first vlog back in a while um, and it's been a bit patchy because I honestly didn't think I'd be in the salon for eight hours but I was so I left the house at I think half 10 and I got back at half nine so it's been a long day um but yeah I hope you enjoy this video and I'll see you in my next one which is going to be quite an exciting one I think <laughs>